Hi friends, um, I'm at the cottage and um, I was going to prune my plum tree and I've noticed brown rot uh, right here, um, a fungal disease. So uh, <laughs> I have to, uh, to, to take out all the branches that are infested with this mushroom uh, fungal brown rot and um, I'm really not an expert in um, in fruit trees this one is six years old yeah and uh, it's the first uh, fruit tree I ever planted um, so I really <laughs> I'm really not an expert but um, I have some books and a DVD with people that know what they're doing. And um, I'm gonna show them to you later on what I based my strategy to get uh, this under control. Uh, this is a Montreal, uh, did I say that? <laughs> Maybe. Um, and it, one year it produced fruits, and uh, a lot of fruits. And the year after it takes a break. So uh, thankfully it's on the, it's break year. It's taking a, a rest um, because this thing is gonna pro uh, propagate to all the fruits and they become mummified and then you get, have to get really rid of all the fruits that uh, and burn it. I'm gonna burn all the branches that are infested and then I'm gonna treat the tree and I'll show you that later. So here goes. Okay so it's important to disinfect, well, I think, I don't know, that's what I read, um, to disinfect all pruners and loppers. So what I have here, I have two pruners. And w um, when using one, the other one is uh, in the alcohol, it's rubbing alcohol, and this one is 90% uh, alcohol. And I have two pairs of loppers, so uh, and I have a saw, so everything is going to be at least two minutes um, in the alcohol, so not to propagate even more of this stuff. So, yeah, I'm going to prune this and uh, show you what it looks like afterwards, and uh, show you the solution I'm going to um, spray on it afterwards. Okay, okay. Um, my son is here this week. Um, he's uh, taking his um, horticulture classes at the botanical Montreal Botanical Garden, and uh, he's almost finished. And now he's doing an intern internship at um, uh, permacultural, permacultural um, landscaping uh, company. So uh, and it's near the cottage. So he's been here uh, for a week. And uh, well, he's going to be here for next week too, and um, might hear him in the back uh, background because he's helping me with the uh, second uh, Ugo garden. And boy, uh, he's 26, eh? <laughs> I'm not anymore. He's so f much faster than me. I'm so happy. Thank you, Francis. Anyway, he helped me also with the uh, pruning of the plum tree and we didn't do the uh, summer pruning because it would have been too much for the, the tree right now I think. I'm gonna wait or maybe just in March um, in spring when the, the tree is dormant we're gonna do the trimming and reshape the tree because we had to take branches that I would have kept uh, if it wasn't for the uh, black rot, uh, not black, brown rot. Anyway, um, so, I um, I was go uh, I was uh, going to tell you about um, who inspired me for what I'm gonna about to do uh, the mix I'm gonna do. Uh, this is the uh, holistic uh, the holistic orchard, the tree <coughs> the tree fruits and berries, the bio biological way by Michael Phillips, and he uses way for uh, uh, a lot of fungal diseases, and the second one. 
uh, I took notes because okay, it's it's a DVD and it's uh, the perma permaculture orchard beyond or organics. Um, it's uh, uh, this is done by Olivier Aslin. Uh, he's a very good uh, filmmaker. I'll put a, a link to a possible dot. Well, it's possible dot org. Uh, but I'll put the link, and I'll put the link for the movie. You can. Uh, this is the DVD, but you can uh, have. Um, how do you call it? <laughs> you can download the uh, on your computer anyway. <laughs> I'll put the link uh, in the down bar, and and for uh, Michael Phillips too. This is uh, 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 Stephen um, Sobkovac, and he has a. Uh, um, a permacultural orchard and uh, it's fascinating but Stephen if you ever listen to this you need to make a book this is not enough this is I love this but I need a book so if you do it Kickstarter I'm in <laughs> I'm all in it's so good I want more anyway okay so enough for plugging people I like <laughs> and I don't get paid but I might see uh, Stephen next week uh, I'm going to the co co uh, convergence uh, permaculture in Frilichburg and he's gonna be there and he's gonna uh, be talking uh, he's gonna make a talk there so I might see him and I'm gonna shake his hand for sure I'm um, probably give him a big hug because oh this is helping me so much anyway I don't know if Michael is, will be there, but a lot of American people will be there too. So, based on what I've seen, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna use whey. Uh, I make yogurt, so it was easy for me to to have whey. <coughs> but I think it, it would even work if you had uh, powdered whey. But I'm not sure, so I, I'm not. But this, because this is. Um, full of good guys, good bacteria, uh, they should take over. And just like when you lacto-ferment uh, sauerkraut, the, the, the pathogens cannot get in, the, the, the fungi, and, and they can't get in because the good guys are there. On top of that, there's a protein in here um, that with UV lights, uh, uh, <sighs> It makes a free radical of oxygen. Uh, it's complicated. Uh, I'll put it down below, but um, it kills fungi. So apparently, this works great. Um, so the all the research has been done. Uh, um, some people use two percent up to twenty percent. So I'm thinking I'm going to do ten, <laughs> just in the middle. So I've made my. Um, uh, or stale decoction. I'll put the link. Uh, I did that last year for you guys, and um, I didn't do a spray with uh, my rose stale this spring because I wasn't here much this spring, and then I didn't have time. And oh boy, I wish I did. But anyway, it's never too late. I made one, so I have one liter of that. I have 500 millimeters of whey. And I have, this is gonna help stick the thing. I, I took everything, I, I wrote everything down because I'm gonna forget. Um, I have about 25 mils of uh, neem oil uh, and I uh, mixed it with uh, about a, a little bit less than a teaspoon of soap, biodegrowth. I had the, I'm tired, folks. <laughs> I've been working in the, in the garden all day, anyway. Uh, biodegradable soap, this soap, um, just to make an emulsion. And uh, I'm going to mix all that with water and unchlorinated water. I have a well here, so um, I'm going to fill it so it makes five liters. So I'm going to put all this, fill it till I have five, uh, five liters in my sprayer, and I'm going to spray afterwards. So I'm gonna mix all that, and I'm gonna show you the spray and how I do it. Okay, so I've made my five liter and uh, shake well. Oh, but I <laughs> totally French. Uh, okay, 
And um, what I was t wanted to say uh, earlier, that uh, f with the movie, um, the permacultural orchard, uh, beyond organic, it's a digital download. That's what I was <laughs> looking for. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray underneath all the leaves, and I'm gonna start by by the bottom and go up, and then I'm gonna spray on top too until it drips everywhere, even on the trunk. So I'll do that. Um, and uh, probably we'll do it a, in a few weeks time again, uh, maybe uh, 14 days. So um, I'm gonna put um, down below all the links and the ratios, like the percentage, because if you're not on the metric system, it's gonna be harder for you. But with the percentage, like 10% and 0.5% uh, of everything I've put, um, it's going to be easier. You don't have to, to make a, I've made a horsetail decoction. You can just use water and the uh, neem oil and soap is, so it sticks, uh, it's going to stick on the leaves. And the neem oil is helps in other ways too. But um, yeah. Um, I'm gonna put all that below, and so you can convert in gallons and 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 ounces if you want to. It's gonna be easier for you. Uh, yeah. So that's it. Uh, hope uh, it helps somebody. Uh, I'll keep you informed because, as I said, I'm really not an expert in this, and it's a trial I'm doing. And I'll keep you informed how the tree is doing, and. Uh, So take care, my friends. I'll talk to you later.